Hey guys, I'm back with another grocery video. I was late on getting my last video up, so no, I didn't just go do a big grocery haul and then go grocery shopping again. That other video is about two weeks old. It just took me a long time to get it up. So I had to run to the States today to go pick up some packages and there's a big meat sale going on. So I thought I'd stop and see what they had because when there's a meat sale, I like to stock up and put some stuff in the freezer and just kind of get ahead of the game. You never know what the market or the prices are going to do. And next week, my daughter and I are going to Oregon. So I figured I'd grab some stuff, try and stock up my husband a little bit so he doesn't starve while we're gone. But wait for that video too. I'll have one going up of our grocery shop that we're doing when we stay in Oregon. And it'll be interesting to compare the prices even from Montana, where I usually go to Oregon, kind of to Canada and just kind of see in different places what the difference is. But it was a hour and a half trip from the minute I left my house till I got back. I had to wait at the American side for about five minutes. And on the Canadian side, on the way back, I was the only vehicle there. I declared everything, my alcohol. They asked if I had it. They asked how much I had. I declared everything down to the exact cent and told them and I just said I got groceries, declared the alcohol and my packages that I got and I was good to go through. Again, no tolls at my border and it's only $10 gas for the round trip down there and back. So if I were to go to the grocery store in Canada, I have to drive 45 minutes there and back, 90 minute round trip and it costs me about $30 in gas. So at the end of the video, I'll post what I would have spent had I gone to the Your Independent Grocer in Canada, and we can compare and see how much I saved this time. Okay, so let's get into it. I spent $109.07 US at the grocery store. That went through my bank account at $152.61. That's a conversion rate of 1.3992. So we've got the 16 ounce cans of beer for $6.99, the large cans of pasta sauce for $1.99, the diced tomatoes for 99 cents. Yes, I bought junk food today. We're only human, get over it. The cookies were $2.99. The Gardettos were $4.85. The Chex Mix was $3.95. The chips were $2.79. The cookies were $3.59. I bought another coffee drink that I drank on the way home, $1.99. The ice cream cones were $3.88. Today's savings were $3.61 and there was a $1.50 coupon on top of that, so I paid $2.38. The cottage cheese was $3.69. The large thing of Greek yogurt was $2.69. The coffee creamer was $2.69 for the big huge one. I found some milk on sale and that should be enough to last us until we leave next week. The mud shakes and margarita were $1.39 each. The cremini mushrooms were $2.82. The bananas were $1.64. The Roma tomatoes were 98 cents. Radishes were 99 cents. The acorn squash, which is actually quite large, was $2.21. So here is our meat with our savings. They've all got coupons on them. So I paid $1.64 for the beef top round. $1.99 for the pork chops, $3.13 for the pork steak, $1.21 for the chicken breast, $2.08 for the drumsticks, $2.19 for more drumsticks, $3.64 for the chicken breast, and these are not small chicken breasts either. 
$1.50 for that one. $4.44 for the pork chops. Got $2.99 for the blue cheese. $1.99 for the shredded cheese. $3.99 for the 10 count of Gouda cheese sticks. $1.99 for the breakfast sausage. $3.99 for that sausage. $9.49 for the two pound block of Kobe Jack. These were each $1.39, but with their coupon, they were 89 cents each. Just little mini snack things there. Paid $2.99 for a gallon of washer fluid. The donut was 99 cents and the smoky bacon crab dip with the coupon was $1.99. So those prices were all in US, but converted, I paid $152.61 Canadian for all of this. And now we'll go on the Your Independent Grocer site and see what this would have all cost me in Canada. All my items from the US and converted them into Canadian so we can compare the price of what I actually had paid for them. So the two spaghetti sauce were $5.56, the diced tomatoes were $1.38, the cookies were $4.18, Hostess is the closest brand. I took my Gardettos and Chex Mix and added them together. They were $12.30, Bits and Bites is the closest brand. The chips were $3.90, the cookies were $5.02, the coffee drink was $2.78, the ice cream cones were $3.33, the cottage cheese was $5.16, the Greek yogurt was $5.58, the milk was $1.38, the mushrooms were $3.94, the tomatoes were $1.37, the bananas were $2.29, the radishes were $1.38, acorn squash was $3.09, I took my meat and took the weight of what I bought and tried to match the closest to the weight and cut of meat. So the steak was $2.29, the pork chops were $2.78, the pork steaks were $4.37. I added all my chicken breasts together and figured out the weight, so I paid $8.88 for mine. Same as with the drumsticks, I figured out the weight and I paid, a, paid $9.597 for mine. Pork chops were $6.21, the blue cheese was $4.18, the shredded cheese was $2.78, the Gouda cheese sticks were $5.58, the baby bell rounds are the closest in weight and comparison, the breakfast sausage was $2.78, the sausage ring was $5.58, the loaf of Kobe Jack was $3.27, the little snack cheese pretzel things were $3.72. The washer fluid was $4.18. The donut was $1.38. The dip is out of stock online for the bacon dip. It's normally $5.29. I paid $2.78 for mine, so we'll put this one here in substitution. The coffee creamer was $3.76. So the total is $2.50.50. The beer for an eight pack of regular cans is $13.29. I had a six pack of 16 ounce cans, so that's close enough. I had my three little two mud shakes and margarita. Those are $4 each. So $248.76, because we minus the $1.74 for the one extra donut, is what I would have spent on groceries in Canada. We'll minus that from the 152.61 Canadian spent in the States, so I saved 96.15 alone on groceries. So if I had shopped in Canada, 248.76 plus $30 gas plus 25.29 for alcohol is 304.05. What I actually spent in the States in Canadian currency was 152.61 for groceries, $10 gas, 9.78 for the beer. For 172.39, so we'll take our 304.05 Canadian and we'll subtract the 172.39 that I actually spent, and that's a savings of 131.66 Canadian. So pretty good for this trip.